welcome back to my channel. I present a video every single day at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Subscribe to my channel and click on the bell if you want to be notified whenever I post a new video. So today's pick a card is going to be about what are your dreams trying to tell you so that you may have very weird dreams lately. Um, I already did a pick a card about this, but I felt like redoing it for those of you that um, need a direct message or what's whatever the case may be. So today I have three pals for you. This is pal one, pal two. And pal three, choose the one year most gentil. It could be gentil multiple ones. It does not matter. But yeah, let's start with the first pile. Hi, pal one. So let's see what are your dreams trying to tell you. Also, for those of you interested in ordering a personal reading, you can visit my page on With You as Time at Godio, where I have many options of different readings you can purchase. Okay, so we have Bobcat Spirit Life is a mystery number eight. So eight could be significant. Maybe you're a Leo or you're a Virgo or there's something significant with the number eight. Maybe there's something eight. You're born in 20, uh, well, 2018. Wow. There's, maybe there's something significant with 2018. Maybe hmm, something happened in 2018 and you still don't know what it happened. But everything happens for a reason. You may not know where you're going. But you are going in the right direction. Okay, the universe is making sure that you are going in the right path. Okay, I meant to say, what was I going to say? Oh, instead of saying 2018, I was going to say, you could be something 8. Okay, so 18, 28, something like that, etc, etc. Okay, let's see. Yeah, you never know what life is met, made of or whatever comes your path. Again, there's something with number 8. Again, double confirmation here. Um yeah whatever comes your way is meant to be in your path okay it's in your way and you can overcome it you may feel very overwhelmed by what it is that the universe is throwing at you but if the universe and yourself didn't know that you would be able to um overcome those obstacles they would have not been in your way they would have not been put in your way i feel like you need to get out of your head here eight of swords king of swords there's a lot of air energy it could be your air sign or have strong air energy in your chart or maybe there's something with an uh, aries what the hell <laughs> i'm so sorry um sometimes i get really weird um random messages here you could be aries dealing with aries but i meant to say with an air sign you could be dealing with the air sign maybe you're aries or you have aries in your chart um let's see yeah there's an ending you need a you need to cross over that a bridge or that um what do you call that fence here you need to let go of something someone here um, and maybe it could be a person, a place, a thought pattern. Okay, different messages for different people here. Knight of Cups, get out again, get out. Knight of Cups, Pisces energy again, get out of your head, get out of your head. Maybe, okay, this is funny. Whoa, oh my god, this is so funny that um, I decided to reuse the same decks that I used for the first pick a card that I did. Okay, because this is the second time that I'm doing this, and this is funny because this is literally my cat tarot, and we literally have a, a cat. This is, oh my gosh, synchronicities. This is so weird. I just noticed. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, again, you could have a cat or maybe there's something regarding a cat. Okay, synchronicities are there for a reason. Two of cups. Yeah, get out of your head. If you have somebody, if you have feelings for somebody, go ahead and tell them. I know it's just in the non, but you never know what life is made of, okay? You never know until you try Oh my gosh, as I say that before, once this could be the person you end up marrying, but you will never know until you get out of your head here, okay? Or maybe you are in a couple in a situation right now, um, with a um, romantic situation right now, and you need a res you need to separate yourself from this person. If you are unhappy or you know that you need to cut this person in out of your life, then this is it. Cut this person out of your life. It did make you unhappy. You know they're toxic. Go ahead and do it, okay? You gotta do what you gotta do um ace of wands and focus i feel like it's a call for you to focus on your passion you may feel like okay like you want to do music but for some reason for example you want to do music 
and the universe is putting you in some weird ass direction like they're making you study about law <laughs> school it's like okay but i'm not interested in law i'm trying to learn about music but you looky you may not feel like you're going in the right path you may feel like you're you're taking random left turns random right turns you're not going in the right direction life is never a straight line okay the more you grow the more you realize that but everything happens for a reason you may not understand why the hell you are in this specific chapter in your life but later on you will be thankful for that chapter that's all i gotta say so follow your passion wherever it is that the di- whatever direction you're you are put at it is for a specific reason okay so whoop they almost up you get trust your gut feeling a past person could be coming back or maybe this is a sign that you are taking too much burden on your shoulders regarding a person and you need to separate yourself from this person this person is delusional or you are delusional here about what it is you have going on with this person because this is a toxic relationship a toxic connection and follow your person uh, your passion here because this is blocking this person is blocking you from your passion from your true self here from being from your true from your true self here if you want to love love if you can feel like you can love this person or you have a hard time opening up your feelings does not matter what connection this is your sign to get up and go this is toxic if you feel like you cannot express your feelings with this person this is a toxic relationship and they're projecting their own hurt onto yours and this is just not healthy at all whatsoever okay yeah somebody may have feelings but they may be very unavailable emotionally but if you're unavailable you're unavailable no matter what area it is that you're unavailable at but yeah that's it that's what i see for you part one i hope this wasn't tougher for you and i'll see you guys next time bye guys hi pal two so let's see what are your dreams trying to tell you also for those of you interested or doing a personal reading you can visit my page on with you as time at Godio, where i have many options of different readings you can purchase messages do you have for my pal too okay so we have white ri- white ribbon spirit trust in the magic number 66 down to 12 as of numbers i see 66 66 99 and 12 there could be something significant with those numbers especially the number 12 so maybe you're born in december or maybe you're going to finally see results of your manifestation or something you wanted in december maybe you're born in december so that could be uh, um you could be a sag and a capricorn or maybe uh, it is what it is that you're manifesting here okay um we all manifest in different ways okay your manifestation could come through a person okay so it doesn't have to be necessarily you may not manifest a person but that manifestation could come through a person so we all manifest it differently so maybe this person is born in december or there's something coming your way in december trust in the magic i feel like there's something in december that you're going to receive a sign in december to not worry about this specific manifestation or to not worry about something so trust in the magic okay there's something that's going to happen this in this specific month um to give you hope okay and have faith okay i heard yeah have a little bit of faith i heard let's see what else we have going on yep oh my gosh six of one success is coming either you're gonna receive a sign that success is coming or you're gonna see receive sign that you're about to be very successful okay um money is gonna come in you're gonna get a raise or you're gonna get more praise you're gonna get more recognition for your work okay it gonna come it's going to come different ways depending on who's watching here but you're gonna receive a sign okay if not the actual manifestation either you're gonna receive a little sign or you're going to receive a, a little result like you're going to see more and more synchronicities or you're if, for example if you're wanting to be successful you have more um financially be financially stable you're going to receive a little bit of money out of nowhere somebody just want to give you money out of nowhere just for no reason okay little signs like this okay let's see 
you're overthinking this too much. I think you're in your head here. Let's see what else I have going on. For my pal to. Yep, you're going to receive an offer that's going to be tempting, an offer you've been waiting on, yes. A new beginning is going to open the Magician Aries energy. A new beginning is going to be ended to you, but you're overthinking this, and that's why you still haven't been manifesting this, okay? Okay, I heard, well, I heard um, you reap what you saw. Justice, don't buy the, the Libra energy. Don't buy the answer. Feed you things you always balance yourself out and the truth always come out. You rip what you saw. So keep breaking your butt off because you're going to see results. Don't give up because they always say this and I feel like it's true. It's always when you feel like giving up that it is the moment when your manifestation is going to come. Okay, so don't give up because you're right there. You're right there. You may make a new friend or you may meet somebody. Yeah. Uh, Virgo, Nine of Pentacles, Virgo Energy. Um, you may meet somebody that's going to help you with that manifestation here. Okay, somebody's going to lend you a hand. Literally. Okay, there's a lot of, yeah, the full Aries energy is Sagittarius energy as well to me. Um, yeah, there's multiple cards about lending a hand. Lending a hand. Lending a hand. Lending a hand and literally a hand. This is known by the as I feed you, but there's again this same story about a hand here. So yeah, there's a new chapter going to happen. Yeah, it may happen to Tower Script Energy. It may happen out of nowhere, but take that leap of faith. I feel like Ace of Wands. Follow your passion and where your heart calls you to go. Okay, Wheel of Fortune, Mutable Energy, Gemini, Pisces, Sagittarius, and Virgo okay but yeah the will is gonna turn in your um the will is gonna turn in what's the expression oh my gosh the will is gonna turn out good for you okay <laughs> for like a better words but yeah that's it that's what i see for you pal too i hope this wasn't helpful for you and i'll see you guys next time bye guys hi pal three so let's see what are your dreams trying to tell you also, for those of you interested in ordering a personal reading, you can visit my page on With You as Time Out With Leo, where I have many options of different readings you can purchase. Okay, so we have Skunk Spirit Know Your Word, number 54, down to 9. There's something as of numbers, I see 45, 54, and 9. So there could be something significant with the number 9. Um, somebody could be born in September. There's something significant with the month of September. So somebody could be a Leo. Uh, no. Uh, a Virgo or a Libra. And those two cards wanted to come out as well. We have Beaver Spirit Layer Solid Foundation, and we have a uh, number six, and we have Armature Spirit Set Etsy Boundaries number three. So again, number six, I see nine, and I see three. So again, there's something. Hmm, no, you for it. Set Layer Solid Foundation. This is interesting because usually I take just one card, and your pal three and. Three cards fell, and we have number three as well. So there's something significant with number three. Maybe there's three people you need to deal with. Or you have had the same issue for three years now. Or three months. Again, whoa. Oh my gosh. This is this is so weird. You guys... Okay, oh my gosh. You guys saw me separate the deck. We have Empress, which is number three. Um... Libra, Taurus, Virgo energy, and we have the Three of Cups. Oh my gosh. I don't think there's so many synchronicities that happen like that. Oh my god, for your pal. Whoa. Oh my god. This is so weird. But again, double, triple, quadruple confirmation here that there's something significant with number three. Um, what was I going to say? Okay. So what are your dreams trying to tell you? Know your work, okay? 
Okay, I keep I want I heard baby. So this is I don't say baby like that, okay? So <laughs> I feel like this is for somebody specific. Don't know your word baby, okay? So I feel like if you feel like you are mistreated in a relationship and a connection in your workplace, stand up for yourself. I know it's just said and done. Maybe you're a people please or you just love to do things for people. But this is exactly how people are taking advantage of you. Because if you do not love yourself, people are gonna take that as this oh, as a sign, oh, pal three does not value themselves. So I cannot I can't step on them too. No 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 no. It will give you the right to step on me. I may insult myself, but that doesn't allow you to sound insult insult me. Okay, wherever it is, somebody is 100% taking advantage of you and you need to set boundaries with the specific person or with everybody around you. Lay a solid foundation. I feel like know your worth here. You know you deserve something better, so do not engage with this person. You know you deserve something better, so separate yourself from this individual that is 100% taking advantage of you. And maybe you're looking gaslighted. Okay, I'm not going to lie not going to lie maybe yeah you're always like the third party you're always this person's option know your word and this person can sense when you don't love yourself people around you can sense that shit okay and they're 100 percent taking advantage of that whether they're doing that consciously or not okay people are hypocrite okay i'm gonna leave it at that I'm gonna leave it at that okay because i could rant for days about that shit yes Okay, I hear, um, what's the song? And you're gonna hear, okay, oh, Katy Perry, was it Roar? Katy Perry, okay, I know it's a Katy Perry song here. Literally, the string card, Leo Energy, I'm not lying. The Three of Wands, the Eight of Wands, and the Eight of Swords. Again, there's something significant with number three and number, whoa, oh my gosh, you guys, this is fucking weird. We have again number three and we have three number eight. You are Leo or there's something significant with the month of September or October. Um, I didn't meant to say October. Well, I meant to say August. Um, something significant with those numbers. This is so weird. You guys see me shuffle, right? Okay. Um, yeah, you're stronger mental and physical than you know, okay? This person is trying, somebody's trying to time the beast inside of you, okay? Somebody knows how much power you have within, so that's, that's why they're trying to time you down, gaslighting you, manipulating you, making you believe that you're worthless without them, you're worthless. You have no value without anybody, but that's not true. They're projecting their own their own hurt onto you, their own insecurities onto you because they know how much power you have with it and they're afraid of it. That's why they're trying to tame it down and making you believe that, hey, you're crazy. Oh, you're too sensitive. Oh, you're this and that because they're projecting their own hurt and they know how much you have. How much power you have within and they're afraid of that power. Okay, so know your word. Somebody is not as trustworthy as you think they are. Somebody is saying, somebody is using you. Somebody is gaslighting you. Somebody is manipulating you here. Um, something, a sudden communication may ca- happen out of nowhere. You may feel very overwhelmed. But I feel like this person is meant to come in your way here. And you need to be open up to this person. But wherever this new person here, wherever this new energy coming in, you need to set your boundaries. I'm triggered, I get triggered when you do this, when people do this and that. Or I don't like when people do this and that. I love when people do this and that. Make your boundaries straight. And make sure that they're not step on. So that if they do, you know this is not the person for you. Right there and then. You have no question because you make sure that you told them what was your triggered. And if they did it on purpose, you know they're fucking with you. And they're not the person for you put your boundaries first okay lay solid foundation with the people that are actually in your life right now um but i would say just separate yourself from them but everybody you know your situation the best so you do what it is that fits um the best for you um but wherever those new people are coming set up to boundaries and even with the people that are in your life right now sit up to boundaries if you do keep on uh, want to keep on with those relationship here but mm-hmm, somebody new could be coming in here but there's somebody that is sneaky around you. Somebody that is very greedy. Somebody that is actually out of your league. But they're making you believe that you're out of their league. Okay? It does not matter. It could be a friend. Okay? It doesn't have to be romantically. Just saying. 
yeah the chair wanted to come out cancer energy somebody's coming really fast faster than you think okay or by fall or there's something that's going to happen here yes as i see that the nine of pentacles we're going to do somebody single focusing on their coins somebody is going to lend you a hand somebody's going to try to be friends with you and you should extend your hand okay um break um what's the the expression break um yeah i heard emperor aries energy um break social norms okay doesn't mean because this is a cat and a bird that she cannot be friends okay you can break social norms don't just because everybody say it's not okay okay i don't know it's, i don't know how to explain that in a way that is going to be not misinterpreted um okay it's like cat and dog they always chase each other they are always around each other you know what i'm saying so it doesn't mean because this is oh cats and dogs are new to eat each other that you cannot be friend with a cat or a dog okay like you know what i'm saying so break be don't be afraid to break social norms okay just because everybody tells you to not be friends with this person because of stupid reasons does doesn't mean that you cannot be friends with them just because society tells you to not be friends with certain people or to not get close to certain people because of your um title because of your social status you can be friends with anybody okay if this person is good for you then they're good for you <laughs> what the hell do you mean okay do not listen to society or to what people tell you around you because it could be the most toxic people around you trying to manipulate you okay um land are here but block it here as well <laughs> hear what people have to say but don't listen to do everybody has to tell you because at the end of the day you are your own person and you know what's best for you so if you want to be friends with somebody you feel like there's nothing wrong with this person you want to get to know this person and not just um follow what everybody has been told you about this person somebody may be toxic to you but that doesn't mean they are toxic to everybody to an extent somebody may be toxic to, to everybody but that's not every single case somebody may be toxic to you and they may not be toxic that does not mean that they are necessarily automatically going to be the toxic with somebody else so maybe a lot of people may tell you okay maybe, that doesn't mean there's true i feel like a lot of people are going to tell you something about a specific person um because they're afraid of them i feel like they know this person's going to make you open your third eye you open your eyes to realize this that you're that those people are bullshitting you they're manipulating you they're gaslighting you. so whoever this person is this person is gonna be good for you so like i feel like a lot of people are gonna bullshit talk shit about this person because they're afraid of this person and lighting bring light to you okay so don't let it hit but don't fully let it hear if it makes sense here okay um it could be a, the emperor is a daddy energy okay it could be an imported daddy figure or imported masculine figure here somebody is trying to block you from something that it could be actually one of the best things that could happen to you and make you realize how you are surrounded by so many toxic ass people that are projecting their perkiness onto yours and they don't want to they don't want the person to come towards you because they're afraid that they're going to enlighten you on how toxic they are to you here wherever this emperor is or wherever those toxic people are around you but yeah know you're worried okay but yeah that's it that's what i see for you pal three i hope this was enough for you and i'll see you guys next time bye guys